Okay, crock pot dressing. Got a stick of butter here. We're going to swoosh the butter all over the inside of the slow cooker pot. Doesn't have to be a crock pot, it can be whatever pot you want. But once we get that done, uh, we'll be on to the next step. So swoosh it, people, swoosh it. If you want my advice, I wouldn't have it turned on and hot for this step, because you'll burn yourself. Tonight we're doing crock pot chicken and dressing. I have two stalks of celery chopped up and a quarter cup of onion. Don't pay attention to that because we're using it for something else. Quarter cup of onion, which will, all of these things will go in our dressing shortly. We've already pre-made a cornbread. Like when I want to buy something new, I have to do what, what we just did with this pot right here to the shade, I have to butter up. So get that buttered up. Now we've got our cornbread. If you want to see my grandma's corn, well my or my grandma's cornbread recipe or whatever's on the bag recipe, uh, you can either look on the bag or go to our website, notoutofwoods.com, you can find that on there. So we're going to, I'm gonna bring that big slab of this on and just crumble this up in here. Got to get our big pieces down into smaller pieces. Voila! So now we have half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of salt. Get that in there. Got a whole tablespoon of sage. Now you can kind of make this fit your taste, but I just wanted to give you a baseline. Uh, we'll probably have to, you know, we some some of us like it a little less salty, some of us like it a little more salty. And now we'll put in our 32 ounce box of generic chicken broth. You may need a little more, you may need a little less. Let's check that, what do you say? I'm gonna mix this up. I poured about two thirds of this in. More. Oh yeah, that's definitely. I don't guess there's anything I hate worse and dry dressing and lion coon dogs. Oh, we're getting right now. It needs more. It does? Okay, we'll put some more in there. Y'all are getting to hear the head chef talk and watch her work a little bit tonight. The brains behind the operation, so to speak. Ooh, I think we lied to them. I think we need one and a half boxes of chicken broth. It's starting to look very dressing-y. It's gonna be soupy. Really? It's gonna cook off. Y'all no. heard her. It's gotta be soupy. Okay. Does that look good? Nope. I like it. One and a half boxes. 
one and a half, 1.5 boxes of chicken broth. We now have the dressing to the consistency that is called for. May I see that spoon? Thank you, ma'am. The term here is soupy. All right, so we're soupy, and we're going to turn this on high. On high, for how long? Three to four hours. Three to four hours. Could you be less specific? How do we know when it's done? How do we know when it's ready? It'll look like dressing. It'll look like dressing? Yeah, you'll know. Okay, folks, we'll show y'all what the dressing looks like when we get back. I gotta go smoke some chicken to go in here, which we'll add in later. And we're back. This has been on about three hours. And I can't even tell you how good it smells, but I'll try real good. And I have shredded up three boneless breasts that I grilled a little bit ago. And I'm gonna put these bad boys over in there and mix them in, and we're gonna eat supper. Bless you. Thanks. There it is, y'all. Stay hungry, my friends.